A lot of countries, beginning with France, 2004, ban full-face veils or partially ban them. Thus, Belgium, 2011, partially ban on the full veil. Several parts of Catalonia in Spain have laws against burkas and niqabs. Chad on June 2015. Cameroon followed suit a month after Chad by banning burkas. Niger, Congo, Brazzaville, Turkey, Switzerland, in August Germany's interior minister came out in favor of a partial ban. And now Bulgaria. Does this prohibition help to prevent any attack of terrorism? Doesn't it violate the rights to freedom of expression and religion of those women who choose to wear a full-face veil as an expression of their religious, cultural, political or personal identity or beliefs, as well as all of us know the veil is an essential symbol in religious and patriarchal ideology. It is necessary to insist that wearing a veil is a common thing in all cultural and religious area. Irrespective of the cultural or religious area, women cover their head with a veil, sign of submission and consequences of patriarchal thinking, but they cover their head with a veil everywhere in the world not only in Muslim countries. Has Occident forgotten that Occidental Christian women cover their head nowadays when they go to church or some of them cover their heads with a veil all the time, wherever they go? Or during their weddings, Western brides cover completely their face with a veil and nobody asks if a terrorist is hiding behind the veil. In many traditional Jewish communities, women wear head covering after marriage. This practice takes many different forms, hats, scarves and wigs, all covered and reveal different lengths of hair. A gun hat, it's a veil or head scarf worn by some married Hindu, Jain and Sikh women to cover their head and often their face. In Islamic world, according to the country, veil has different names and forms. Haik, Burka, Hijab, Nigab, Jilbab, Siadar, Dupta, etc. Thus, in all religions, veil is a means through which women become invisible in public space, placing her in an inferior position. We can observe strong connection between religion and patriarchal mentality. On the other hand, according to the religion of each of us, culture of each of us, education of each of us, to wear or don't wear that veil become a very important element in our identity. Is the government job to tell women what they should and shouldn't wear? Is the burqa banning a just decision? I believe we can find out the truth from people themselves. Here, we can find the opinion of some people from different countries on burqa banning.
burka banning a just decision? 